Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist and head of pathology department, AKMICH, KSA. I'll be talking about sexy cord stromal tumors of the ovary, steroid cell tumor, not otherwise specified. General background. Steroid cell tumors not otherwise specified are among the rarest ovarian tumors, less than 0.1%. They comprise the majority of all steroid cell tumors. They are morphologically similar to Leydig cell tumor, but without Reinke crystals. They have significant clinical differences with Leydig cell tumor, mainly younger with an average age of 43 years. Potential for extra ovarian spread, malignant behavior, stroma leukoma referring to a steroid cell tumor, less than two centimeter in size. In a background of stromal hyperthecosis, has been included in the category of steroid cell tumor, not otherwise specified. Clinical presentation include androgenic manifestations, virilization, hirsutism, isosexual pseudoprecocity in half of patients. Estrogenic manifestations post many causal bleeding, menorrhagia in minority, about 10%. Cushing syndrome due to hypercortisolemia. Non-specific complaints such as abdominal swelling or pain in some patients. Biologically inactive cases at the clinical level and incidentally discovered. Patients typically have elevated levels of 17 ketosteroids, testosterone, and or androstenedione. Gross appearance. Most 95% of the tumors are unilateral. They range in size from 1.2 cm to 45, average of 8.4 cm. Most steroid cell tumors are well circumscribed and solid. They frequently have a lobulated or multinodular and yellow to orange to brown cut surface. This image shows a steroid cell tumor of the ovary with a characteristic yellow-brown cut surface. Hemorrhage and necrosis may be present, which requires mention in the report as these features are associated with malignant behavior. Microscopic features. The most common architectural pattern is diffuse sheets of large round or polygonal cells. There is usually scant intervening stroma with delicate vascular network. The tumor cells may also form nest cords or pseudoglandular structures. They may have follicle-like arrangements. Some cases show thick, hyalinized fibrous bands. Ovarian steroid cell tumors, NOS, are composed of diffuse sheets of polygonal cells or large round cells. They have abundant xenophilic or microvacuolated cytoplasm. They have distinct cell borders, central nuclei, and prominent nucleoli. Most tumors have no cytologic atibia 
and at most two mitoses per 10 high power fields. Some of the cells have abundant dense eosinophilic cytoplasm, whereas others have pale vacuolated cytoplasm. This image shows finely vacuolated cytoplasm that is rich in lipids, as confirmed by staining with oil red or stain. This photo shows diffuse sheets of large polygonal cells which have vacuolated cytoplasm vesicula nuclei and nuclear pileomorphism. Yellow-brown lipochrome pigment granules are frequently seen in the cytoplasm of steroid cell tumors. Oil red O stain demonstrates numerous lipid droplets in this photo. This ovarian steroid cell tumor, not otherwise specified, shows necrosis, which is one of the features associated with malignancy. This image shows moderate grade 2 nuclear atibia. Cytologic atibia, especially grade 2 to 3 atibia, when present, is often associated with malignant behavior. It is important to remember that clinically malignant tumors occur in about 30 to 40 percent of cases and associated with poor prognostic factors. They include two or more mitoses per 10 high power fields, necrosis, hemorrhage, size 7 cm or larger, grade 2 or 3 nuclear atibia, patients age more than 51 years, some clinically malignant cases are histologically benign. In summary, the presence of atypical features associated with malignant behavior should be sought and reported. Immunohistochemistry Steroid cell tumors not otherwise specified of the ovary are immunoreactive for sex cord stromal markers such as inhibin, calretinin, melan A. Other frequently positive markers include vimentin, CD10, and CD56. Prognosis and therapy. Overall, approximately 30% to 40% are clinically malignant. Unilateral salvinge or ophorectomy and staging are the appropriate treatment in young women who have tumors clinically confined to the ovary, stage 1a. Total abdominal hysterectomy and bilateral salvinge or ophorectomy with full staging should be performed for those in whom fertility is not an issue. Hirsutism and virilization may regress to some degree after resection. Patients with advanced stage disease require cytoreductive surgery, post-operative platinum-based chemotherapy, is suggested for patients with advanced stage disease. Recurrences develop more than five years after initial surgery in 10% of cases. These are the references. Thank you.